But no confidence in jail leadership and moving forward with an independent investigation. The moves made tonight. WHS 1119's Isaiah Kim Martinez followed the vote and found council members divided. Now, Isaiah, they must have agreed on something to get to this point. Well, Doug, they did a handful or pretty much every council member who spoke agreed there needs to be accountability for deficiencies inside the jail. The vote of no confidence passed 18 to 6, but a handful felt a thorough investigation should have come first. After six inmate deaths in fewer than three months time, concern over safety inside Louisville's jail has led Metro Council members to two major moves. First, a vote expressing no confidence in corrections leadership, and then a resolution starting an independent investigation into the facility to learn why deaths are suddenly happening at this rate and what needs to change. Both passed. Efforts to attract and retain quality officers has been similar to pulling teeth, teeth with Doc, Director Clark's administration. The no confidence vote in LMDC Director Dwayne Clark and his staff is purely symbolic to put pressure on Mayor Greg Fisher to make a change. That's as staffing shortages move north of 140 vacancies despite passing. Before we jump to conclusions, we need all of the answers. The decision was met with some pushback. Council members like District 4's Ja'Cory Arthur said after taking a trip inside the jail today, he questions who's to blame for the overarching problems. Is that the leadership's fault? I don't know. But I believe that a thorough investigation would answer that question. Meanwhile, Metro Council's Government Oversight and Audit Committee will run the investigation. Councilman Anthony Piagentini says it'll help them figure out whether leadership is responsible for shortcomings. It's unfortunate that we had to wait this long to do this. We probably should have done this sooner. In a response from the city, Chief of Public Services Matt Golden urged council members to conduct the investigation before holding the no confidence vote. Six different council members also wanted to wait. But overwhelmingly, the majority cited Clark's failure to show up and answer questions in times of crisis as the deciding factor. We don't have these months to wait to complete this investigation, that this is something that we need to act on immediately. And this week, Mayor Fisher announced two new public services assistant chiefs, along with an outside jail expert to review the recent suicides inside. Also, the city has increased starting salaries 27% and have added on sign on bonuses as well to help with hiring. Live in downtown Louisville tonight, Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 1119 on your side.